I'm so excited, you know, to play all our top pick songs. Firstly, thank you, Salim, for taking time out. I'm pretty sure you're very, very busy in the studio right now, being creative and doing what you do best. So let me just start by first saying is the fans are extremely excited to see you and your brother back in Dubai on the Dubai stage. Tell us what they can expect from you this time around. It's been a really uh, beautiful year of a lot of entertainment. It's been two years of COVID and like, you know, we are, we were, everybody has been waiting for great music. I know Dubai has had some amazing concerts, but they haven't had Salim Suleiman live. And this combination of Salman Ali, Raj Pandit and Bhumi Trivedi along with Salim Suleiman is very, very, very special. Dubai is in for a big treat. I'm so excited, you know, to play all our top big songs from all our Bollywood big songs to our Sufi Kavalis to all that stuff. From Rabne Banadi Joli to Kurban to uh, Aja Nachle to uh, Band Baja Barat to Fashion, uh, Chak De India, you name it, all those beautiful songs. It's going to be a treat for uh, all kinds of people, all listeners, all all music lovers. We've not been quiet. We started our own label, which is, which is called Merchant Records. We've made some great music, not just us, but uh, different, different artists, uh, you know, from from India, independent artists, people who've uh, wanted to always, you know, experiment with music and not just stick to a formula kind of music. They suddenly had a creative umbrella for themselves in the form of our label. I was always promoting good music and, you know, pushing for creative people to like come and release their stuff without any boundaries, without any sort of limitations or any kind of expectations. And we gave birth to this beautiful label called Merchant Records. We started with releasing two songs a month and we are now at eight songs a month. So you can imagine how many songs we release all over here. We always made independent music right from 2012. You know, uh, I think when uh, Band Baja released and uh, Evie Evie released, I had the I had the confidence to do music that was out of the box, like you know, like Evie was a complete shadi song, like a wedding song, but you know we gave it a very different twist to it, and it really seemed to work with the people. You know, it became so popular and stuff like that, and that gave me the confidence to do to bring out. You know, the, when we did Evie, Evie, the director didn't like that song. Really? You know? Yeah, he didn't like it. So, but we pushed it. We pushed very hard, and we made it believe that you know and because it was his first film he trusted us but he wasn't sure at all you know he wasn't sure it was his first film it was Ranveer's first film it was Anushka's second film they were not confident about they wanted a very formula based shadi wedding song people uh, who make music independent music are trying to make independent music sound like films so independent music is sounding like film music and film music is sounding like independent you know uh, and it, the lines are very blurred now in between, so you don't know what's what. But you know what? It doesn't matter. As long as every uh, month, every uh, uh, two weeks or one week, there's some good music that gets popular, whether it's through reels, whether it's through whatever. I just feel like, you know, uh, composers and musicians should make music uh, for the sake of music and art and not make music for reels because when you start making music for reels, then you know you there is a certain kind of a approach that you take, which only seems to work in short music formats. A lot of things are changing very very quickly, you know, from TikTok to reels to all that stuff. But it's important for musicians, for composers, in my belief, it's important to uh, you know focus on the art, focus on making pure music, good music, whether it's dance music or it's, uh, you know, it's timeless melodies or it's uh, whatever it is, you know, you, you need to focus it, focus on the music for its art and not for the fact that it, it becomes sensational on different platforms. That's very important. There are all kinds of films that come out. There are films that give you a lot of freedom. There are films that are sort of period films that have a certain uh, music as a character and they, they want the music to be, you know, obviously a reflection of the story and the characters. So, uh, I can't just say it in a general way that, you know, that, that films uh, uh, sets up a boundary and sets up a ceiling and stuff like that. It really depends on the composer. Like, we were really, really, we had a very strict boundary for uh, for the wedding, uh, for, uh, sorry, for Band Baja Bharat. We had a very strict boundary for Rabine Banadi Jodi also. But 
for fashion we never had any boundaries like madhur bandar kar gave us a lot of freedom so we you know we went same with kurban kurban had a lot of freedom so it doesn't matter you know sometimes it's important to break through all your boundaries and still bring bring out good music uh, we're working on disco dancer that's a new musical production it's going to be a complete stage musical we're going to release it in london a uh, first it's going to go to west end it's oh, going, that's it's amazing a, it's, a, it's a beautiful sensational story very of course 1980s most famous disco dancer story of mithunda uh, you know uh, music by bappilari ji it's going to be a phenomenal uh, you know uh, musical live music live singing dancing and it's going to be it's going to be great a couple of years ago we did umrao jaan we're bringing back the umrao jaan as a stage musical we're bringing that back we have a a very big song as a collaboration with the late siddu musewala that's coming out very very soon uh, we were waiting for uh, you know things to uh, sort of settle down with you know siddu's family to be a little more you know come to peace with it and then release the song we didn't, we didn't want to take advantage of uh, of what's happened very unfortunate uh, things that have happened but it's a beautiful song and uh, it'll be a real treat for his fans and for our uh, listeners and so it'll be it'll be great we have Bhumi 22, which is going to release uh, in October. Every year we do us we do this musical movement project called Bhumi. We did Bhumi 2020, we did Bhumi 21. This year's Bhumi 22 will feature Sonu Nigam, Sunidhi Chauhan, uh, Shreya Goshal, uh, Divine. It will uh, uh, feature Raj Pandit, a uh, Kashmiri folk singer called Noor Muhammad, Harshdeep Kaur, myself. uh uae's fantastic artist called aisha abdullah she's a young girl 16 year old girl uh vipul mehta muhit bharti pratibha singh bagel lots of incredible singers and the mangania folk singers manga mangania and langa folk singers of rajasthan i am seriously considering qatar uh i'm not going to be there for the whole season but i'll surely catch the the Uh, quarter finals of the semi final game so who are you rooting for my favorite team has always been brazil and uh, you know so i'm going to i'm going to like i'm always going to be gunning for them